cultural identity or sense of being part of a society that link to the ethnicity, race, and religion of some type of social community with its distinct identity. It is represents to the intellectual and moral growth in society through the individual and groups. Hi, my name is Norliana Erina Binti Muslim. My topic is about rejuvenation of Bisaya cultural identity in the landscape development of Taman Tasik and Tamu Biafat Sabah. Sabah is known for its various ethnic that includes about 42 ethnic groups. One of those is Bisaya that mainly lives in Biafat. The most significant area in Biafat is Tamu where it is known as a weekly market and also has been used as a place for traditional events such as Adau Janang Gayu. Beside the Tamu is Taman Tasik that has a beautiful scenic lake in the middle. The selection of these areas because it shows the symbolism of the place. However, some issues found in these areas which are lack of attraction due to its activities and on the weekdays it has no function, this area becomes empty and sometimes used as a parking area. Another issue found was there are no signs or any landmarks to symbolize the culture of the locals that can indicate the identity of Visaya. Besides that, most people feel uncomfortable to be at Tamu because of no shaded areas to cool the environment. The area is crowded with stalls rather than have greenery around it. That is why not many people visit here due to the rising temperatures in the afternoon. My study is to revitalize the Bisaya cultural identity in Beaufort and to strengthen the sense of the place and people's identity. In order to achieve the aim, the objectives are to identify the values and beliefs of Bisaya cultures associated with the landscape, to distinguish the adaptation of the cultures and activities of the past to be interpreted into the modern life, and to study the relationships between the concept, movement, music, and rhythms of the dance along with the belief system, socio-economic activity, and cultural values of traditional Bisaya culture to the society. From the study about the social structure and leadership Bisaya, the economic activities, and the culture and arts of Bisaya, I implemented some of the movement patterns and dance segments of Bisaya into my design. This study is focusing on highlighting local identity and culture through the adaptation of Visayas culture and style in the landscape architectural development and to encourage the community to have fun while they can appreciate the Visaya culture in Tamu and Taman Tasi. The result of this study, Tamu is an area that has the potential to be developed and expanded as a major focus area for the cultural meeting and socio-economic of the Visaya community due to the variety of commercial activities. The stalls will be provided with a green roof to provide shade to the sellers and to remove the heat from the air. Meanwhile, the Datarang Begandang is maintained as a gathering area for cultural events and ceremonies with the addition of an exhibition of Bisaya traditional houses so that it can be introduced to today's generation as well as the outsiders. Apart from that, Taman Tasik also has the potential to be used as a place for traditional Bisaya activities as one of the recreational activities for visitors. There will be a traditional music plaza that displays Bisaya's instruments and a space for traditional game spots to give an experience and knowledge to the visitors. There are master plan and detailed plans of the selected area. The concept of the uniqueness of Bisaya for the master plan is to achieve all three areas to be used as socio-cultural, socio-economic, and recreational areas. It is to create a journey and exploration into the Bisaya culture through three elements that can create new experiences for visitors. Some elements of the Bisaya tradition that are also formed in the idea of this concept such as traditional dance, music, and crafts. Besides that, the movement patterns and dance segments from one of the traditional Bisaya dances such as the Bubu Mangalai dance are applied in the detailed concept plan for Tamu. This is because according to the beliefs of the Bisaya community from the past, this dance aims to attract spirit and strength from the above to the patient. The circle dance movement is believed to heal the patient and restore the lost spirit. 
Therefore, because the tamu becomes empty, quiet, and less visited on weekdays, the concept of bubu mengalai is implemented to evoke and raise the spirits of the local towards the uniqueness of the Bisaya tribe. It has three elements of bubu mengalai, the center where the sculpture of bubu is the focal point of the place. The bubu statue shows the uniqueness of the Bisaya tamu and represents the land. The spiral movement calls out the spirit, meanwhile the energy as a force in the area where the landmark is used as a strength or spirit to attract people to visit the place. Last but not least, the implication of the study shows that the study I did was a significant to the Bisaya society and the design in terms of architecture can be known to the public according to the passage of time. So that's it from me and thank you for watching. Para sa mga mga tao.